Gosta de festa e passeio. Nada como um dia após outro dia e mais uma noite no meio. Vem que eu vou. Se quiser que eu vou. Se quiser que eu vou. Se quiser que eu vou. É de matriz celestial. All eyes focused on Kevin De Bruyne, top marksman in the Champions League. Can he add to his haul this evening? The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well, if City perform as they did in that first leg, they will run away with this tie. But they need to concentrate, play with discipline and still work hard. look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva plays with Rodri in central midfield and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And now they get the ball rolling. a really good run but stamp defending when it mattered Modric very quick thinking there Valverde here's Vinicius Junior well we have to say Stuart respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year so many attributes what are you looking for from him in this game oh Derek big chance here what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick a top quality save great anticipation good bit of defending
Jose Lu. Brilliant pass. He must finish. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. High pressing and good high pressing. And Bellingham. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Last man back and job done. Is it going to be Jose Lu? Nicely saved. Luka Modric with the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Is it going to be Jose Lu? A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper, cool as you like. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. De Bruyne. De Bruyne for the chance. And inches away, didn't miss by very much at all. David Alaba, Carvajal, and Valverde. Mendy, and he might be through here. Tenacious tackle, and a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Fancy a short one. And a good looking ball. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, here it is again. And they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. And it might be! Well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop.
Trying to pick out a teammate. And ably dealt with. Vinicius. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Foden. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, they couldn't quite use that break in the manner that they'd hoped. Jude Bellingham is with Vinicius Junior. He has teammates around him. Vinicius. Luka Modric. And offside, unfortunately. Alvarez De Bruyne now well, Time just challenged magnificently We've had the official word There will be a minimum of two added minutes Played into the box And a confident clearance Oh, how about that for a tackle And there it is, the half-time whistle So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Getting the better of his opponent. Must be! And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game. But how does he change it? So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Jose Lu. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. Alvarez. This looks more than decent. Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut and they're making a change. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Not really the ideal clearance. Oh, genuine chance. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Well, Pep looks very pleased, doesn't he? His side have been absolutely excellent today. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Vinicius Junior. Given away by Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. 
Foden. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Oh, great goalkeeping! Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Played over. Read it well, cleared it well. John Stones. Will he finish? Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. So the corner played into the box. Now that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Well, the referee has decided that the injury is sufficiently serious for play to be stopped. Treatment required. Back underway with a drop ball. Jose Lu. Here's Carvajal. Aurelien Chouameni. De Bruyne. Just the challenge that was required. but unable to find the target. Well, he certainly went for power, but the accuracy just wasn't there. He should have scored that. So a personnel change then. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Rodri gives it a go and keeping it out. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Just 15 minutes remaining. De Bruyne with a chance. Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Showing good defensive judgment. And he's through here. Well, a fierce effort, but quite simply not accurate enough. Time for a change then. Alvarez Kevin De Bruyne you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it booking to come you would think and that is going to mean a caution the referee is absolutely right he knew what he was doing there well he's not happy is he he just needs to calm himself down here Oh, that's splendid play. Can't miss, surely. And there is the goal. 
He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? 3-2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Federico Valverde. Now can they counter clinically? Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Can they profit from this? Valverde. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Rodri. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. De Bruyne being egged on by the crowd. It's there for him. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Bellingham and well, they know they need to stop him oh excellent diving stop he's driven in the corner not the most confident clearance and that will be all for tonight. Manchester City have done it. They've made it through to the Champions League final. Well, what a good win that was over the two games. Their attacking play has been brilliant. If they can repeat that in the final, they have every chance of lifting the trophy. Well, as is so often the case, Phil Foden did his talking out there on the pitch. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.